Hello everyone, I am back. I hope you all are great and enjoying your online sessions nicely. It's time to learn maths again. This time we are going to learn factors. Sounds something new, right? Let's find out what is a factor. So let us begin. Factors when two or more numbers are multiplied together to get the product, each number is called a factor of the product. For example, when 3 and 5 are multiplied with each other, we get 15. So, this means that 3 and 5 are the factors of 15. Okay? Now I'll tell you how to find out the factors of the given number. Well, there are two methods of finding out the factors. The first method is multiplication method. This is very simple. For example, if we have to find out the factors of 16, we'll start with 1. Always remember, 1 is the factor of all the numbers. Okay, so 1 16 is our 16. Then we'll go to 2. 2 8 is 16. Then we'll go to 3. But 16 does not fall in the table of 3. So we'll go to 4. 4 4 is 16. Now we can't go to 5 because here number 4 is being repeated. Okay. So here we will complete our process of finding the factors. As you know, the numbers in these two rows are the factors. Okay. So 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16 are the factors of 16. Okay. Why did we not go to 5? Because number 4 is repeated over here. Okay, so we don't need to go further. Okay? Always remember, the smallest factor of any number is 1. And the biggest factor of any number is number itself. Okay? So, 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16 are the factors of 16. Now, do you know how to find the factors by using multiplication method? Isn't it easy? So let's solve the exercise related to this. We have to match the columns. Okay? Here are some numbers. And we have to check if these numbers are the factor of the given numbers or not. And we have to match accordingly. Okay? I gave you one trick. The smallest factor is 1 and the biggest factor is number itself. So, smallest factor of 24 will be 1 and the biggest factor of 24 will be 24 itself. So, we have to find out where do we have 1 and 24, 1 and 24. Over here, smallest factor is 1 and biggest is 24. So, the factors of 24 are 8, 3, 2, 24, 1, 4, 6 and 12. So, E matches with I. Now, similarly, let us go for 16. The smallest factor will be 1 and the biggest will be 16. Where Here we can see the smallest factor is 1 and the biggest is 16. So, D matches with 2. Now going to 28. Smallest 1, biggest 28. Here we can see smallest is 1, biggest is 28. So C matches with 3. Now 50. Smallest should be 1, biggest should be 50. Here we have both 1 and 50 but... 50 is not the biggest factor. The biggest is 100. So, this, these are not the factors of 50. Let's move to the next one. 
here smallest is 1 and biggest is 50 so these are the factors of 50 okay so b matches with 4 and in the last 100 matches with this one smallest is 1 biggest is 100 so a matches with 5 easy well, this was the shortcut to find out the correct set of factors for the given numbers. Otherwise, what you could do is, if you had to find the factors of 24, we'll go like 1, 24 is at 24, 2, 12 is at 24, 3, 8 is at 24, 4, 6 is at 24, 5, 24 does not fall in the table of 5, and we have 6 over here. So account closes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12 and 24 are the factors of 24. Right? But this becomes long. I gave you a shortcut wherein you can just see the smallest number which should be 1 and the biggest number that is number itself. Easy? Now let's move to exercise 5.2. First heading. Write the factors of the given numbers by using multiplication method. Okay. Let's start. If we have to find the factors of 12, we have to start with 1. So 1, 12 is a 12. Right. Then going to 2. 2, 6 is a 12. Then 3. 3. 4's are 12. Now 4 is over here. So we don't need to count further. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12 are the factors of 12. Right? Easy? Good. So, these are the factors, right? Going to 15. We'll start with 1. 1 15s are 15. 2. 15 does not fall in the table of 2. So, we'll go with 3. 3 5s are 15. 4. 15 does not fall in the table of 4. So, and 5 is over here. So, 1, 3, 5 and 15. 1, 3, 5 and 15 are the factors of 15. Right? Easy? Isn't it? Now, let's find the factors of 36. Now, 36 is a bigger number. To find the factors of 36, we started with 1. 1, 36 are 36. Now, 36 is bigger than 20. So, we have to divide 36 by 2 and check if it is divisible or not. When we divided in our rough work, we got that 18 twos are 36. So, 2 into 18 is 36. Similarly, 3 twelves are 36. 4, 9's are 36. 5, no. 36 does not fall in the table of 5. So we directly went to 6. 6, 6 are 36. Now when 6 is repeated over here, we don't need to get further. We don't need to calculate further. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 9, 12, 18 and 36 are the factors of 36. Easy? Now it's time that you try on your own. Come on, try the remaining two sums on your own and find the factors by using multiplication method. All the best! Now let's learn how to find factors using division method. Let us again find the factors of 16 but this time using division method. Okay? 
In this method, we have to divide the given number by 1 first of all. Okay? Because as we all know, 1 is the smallest factor of every number. So, when we divide 16 by 1, we get 16 as answer. In this method, the divisor and the quotient are the factors of the given number. Okay? So, next we'll divide 16 by 2. And the answer that we get is 8. When we try dividing 16 by 3, we get a remainder. Because 16 does not fall in the table of 3. So, we'll not divide 16 by 3 over here. Now, next when we divide 16 by 4, the answer that we get is 4. Right? Now, over here the number is repeated. So, we do not need to divide further and check. Okay? So, when we look at all the divisors and the quotient, we get the list of factors of 16. So, 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16 are the factors of 16. Right? Now let's look at the next heading of exercise 5.2. Write the factors of the given numbers by using division. Okay. So here we have to divide 32 by 1 first. When we divide 32 by 1, the quotient we get is 32. Now let's divide 32 by 2. The answer is 16. When we divide 32 by 3, students as we know, uh, 3 tens are 30 and 3 elevens are 33. So, 32 won't be divisible by 3. So, we'll try it with 4. 32 divided by 4 will be 8. 8 fours are 32. Then 32 does not fall in the table of 5 also. 32 does not fall in the table of 6 also. Similarly, 7. Because we know that 7 fours are 28 and 7 fives are 35. We already got 8 over here. So we do not need to divide further. Right? So, uh, the factors will be these two rows. 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 and 32. Right? So, 1, 2, 4, 8, 16 and 32 are the factors of 32. Easy? Now, let's try with 48. Again, as it is division method, we have to divide the given number by 1 first. So, 48 divided by 4 will be 48. The quotient is 48. Now, let's try dividing 48 by 2. This is a bigger number. If you can't do it orally, you can try in your rough space. Let's create a rough space over here. Rough work. Let's divide 48 by 2. 2 2 is a 4. 2 4 is a 8. So our answer is 24. Okay. Now 48 divided by 3. Let's check if this can happen or not. 3 1 is a 3. 1 remaining 8 comes down. 3 6 is a 18. Yes, the remainder is 0. So, 48 divided by 3 will be 16. Now, let's try for 48 divided by 4. It's 12. 12 fours are 48. We already know. Now, 48 does not fall in the table of 5. Because as we know, 5 nines are 45 and 5 tens are 50. Now, 6. 6, 7 is a 42, 6, 8 is a 48. So yes, 48 divided by 6 is 8. 
Now going to 7. We know that 48 does not fall in the table of 7 because 7 7s are 49. 48 does not fall there. And we already have 8. After 7 is 8 which is over here. So the factors of 48 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24 and 48. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24 and 48 are the factors of 48. Now I hope this is easy for you. Right? So now it's the time to try on your own. Try finding out the factors of 54 and 99 by using the division method. All the best.